Well, well can they make some noise? I mean, I, I, sure, but I don't see them as a legit. You don't contender. think they could? No, but you don't think they can? You know, win a first round series? Depends on the matchup, really. I mean, Other than the two LA teams, well, do you what think they, they can beat anybody? Do well, they could beat Denver? I mean, I don't. I mean, if they face Denver, I, I couldn't. If they, I mean, I, I don't. Again, I'm, the seedings right now, I'm a, I'm a little bubbled on where they are. I think they're what's Houston, OKC, Denver, Dallas, Portland, like all those teams. Everybody that's not LA, really. I right? mean, if, if they, if, I can't. I mean. I can see them giving Denver maybe a series, but I, I, I can't see it with the two L.A. teams. I, I, I don't know what it is. I have a feeling that the Clippers might lay an egg. Not really? the first round. Maybe not the first round, but I think they might go out in the second round. Well, yeah, I've seen Kawhi a lot more frustrated than I ever saw him with the Raptors. So maybe, like before the COVID? Before the COVID yeah. thing. So, and again, like, it's going to be a situation. I think health's going to play a major concern. If, if, if it could really, like, if one of the big guys in the West go down for, the, for an extended period of time, it could change the whole infrastructure of everything. Because the thing... The but thing, then again, that happens everywhere, I guess, technically. But with, if Giannis goes down, the Bucks oh, are not in yeah, trouble, too, right? Yeah, I, don't, I think it's a lot less likely Pascal in the short and time, yeah. and they're, they're in trouble, too, right? So. The thing about the Clippers that kind of worries me for them is just, you look at a team like the Raptors, and they're, those are probably the two deepest teams in the league. But with the Raptors, I feel like everybody knows the pecking order. They know how many times they're going to get the ball in the game, providing that you know nobody gets hurt. Norma's averaging 20 for a while. But like, yeah. if everybody's healthy, which they are, you know how many shots you're going to get. With the Clippers, I feel like everybody on their team, their top, I don't know, five, six guys, mm -hmm. have at one point in their career, and fairly recently, averaged 20 points. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's going to be tough for guys like, even Lou. Like, Lou comes in, he kind of, you know, just takes over the whole five-man squad. He mm -hmm. comes in, and him and Harold run the pick and roll. But like, like I said, Morris, Paul George, Kawhi, Jermichael Green is not like that. He's more of a glue guy. But I just think they have so many guys that are trying to get theirs. And I just wonder how that's getting. And that's going back to Kawhi, being frustrated with guys. Whereas with the Raptors, he comes in, he does his thing, pass the yeah, open guy. Yeah, you never saw some reactions. Yeah. I don't think the Clippers have that Well, here, here, here's the thing. And I, as much as, you know, I, everybody in Clipperland was, was all joyous when they got Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. The identity of the team. And, the, and we've heard reports about there, there being in, internal friction because of how those two guys are getting treated compared to the rest. They went from a, a team that was a very workmanlike team, a team that was led by, by Lou and, and Montrez Harold, and, and they basically just changed the identity of now they're not like the, 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 the underdogs. The pretty they, boys they, now. They, they did, they did a, a pretty decent job in the Last playoffs year, against, yeah. the, against the Warriors. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they beat them, they beat them what, twice, I believe. Yeah. Um, and then when that identity gets changed, where now you have two guys that are going to take um, the majority of the headlines, and not to mention the majority of the possessions, yeah, the, the guys get it. Well, you know, now we're taking a back seat, and how it's going to work? Do they have the most talent in the West? I, I per particularly think they they likely do, man to man, uh, with the Lakers. But like I said, it, you could absolutely be right where they. I mean, Morris was was the number one option in New York. Now he's what the what maybe the fifth option. Fourth, maybe Harold. Harold takes maybe fourth. Lou Williams is definitely third. Well, no, I meant even in the starting lineup, yeah. I guess, right? Because yeah, it's it's it's, tough. it's gelling and and it, and again in these kind of kind of circumstances, you just don't know how guys are there. You know, no, like some people rely on the crowd. There's not gonna be no crowd. I don't yeah. know if they're gonna pipe in people. Right? I mean, and it's gonna be interesting. The, I don't remember what team it was, but someone was talking. Pot, it might have been like a, a first take kind of thing or whatever it was. Someone was talking positively about, oh, you know, we're the only team that's had. I think it was must have been Clippers had that's had like seven guys average like fifteen points. The only reason that happened is because Paul George missed like the first two and a half three months of the season. Yeah. Kawhi plays every other game. Yeah. So you're taking away 45, 50 points right there. Sure. So those guys are going to get their 20, 25 points. That's their average. They're gone. Lou Williams is getting 20. Harold getting 20. Yeah, 18. Score, yeah. Morris came in towards the end of the deadline. He was filling it up whenever they needed him to. Now, like I said, the Raptors' biggest strength is that when guys went down, the next man up comes in. Sure. Norm, OG, Fred. Your boy, your boy Slim Duck. Slim Duck, <laughs> Terrence Davis. Like, all of these guys come in oh, and you're just, just filling it up where... Like I said, I just don't think that it's the same. If you could put chemistry on like a meter, I think that the Raptors are on one side and the Clippers are on the total other side. Agree? Yeah. Well, and I, and I think you know having that the majority of the team last year, and again when you the Raptors, they brought in small additions. They brought in Rondé. They brought. I mean, I thought we were expecting more out of the uh, Stanley. After the Stanley Johnson, he's been a, basically a no show. Um, hasn't been able to get into the rotation whatsoever, really. 
Um, I think that helps you because, yeah, you, you take – and they played a lot of games without Kawhi, right? I mean, Kawhi missed what was it, almost 20 games last, last year. year. So it's not like they don't know how to play with Kawhi. And you get a couple uh, – you know, Rondé's help definitely. But you, the guys are used to it. The Clippers, no oiled machine. Clippers aren't used to it. The Clippers were used to playing the, their type of basket, basketball. And now you have to defer to Kawhi. So that always takes some and, – and Paul George. So that always takes some, some yeah, getting used to. Um, so, yeah, I mean – could it be one of those situations where, I mean, the first-year Clippers aren't going to be what everyone thought they were? 100%. Uh, I still, again, I don't bet against Kawhi in the playoffs. I mean, it, it, he's just okay, let's, he's got a pro, he's got a proven track record. Let's cut to that now. You're betting 100 bucks right now, whatever it is. Who are you betting your money on? Overall? To win the title. You just said overall, you can't bet overall, against Kawhi. Overall, again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to stick with my, my prediction, and I'm going to say that the Clippers are going to win it. Um, even though, like as we've been stating, that there could be repercussions to that, I still where are they? Just the injuries? Well, still that injuries? and you just know that that they, the they, they like you just the pecking mentioned order. Like, the pecking order okay. and how they might they might lay an egg, okay. and that, that could be a possibility. It's it's one of those situations where the expectations are high. I just think that overall, if everybody's healthy and everyone plays to the cap- capabilities, the Clippers win. Wow. So, and that's and that's just how, I, how if Kawhi is Kawhi and Paul George is healthy. Now again, if Paul George goes down with an injury and he's done. Will I 100% change my mind? Really? Yeah. Because, again, yeah, because I, I think that without Paul George there, you, you have, uh, and let's say everybody else is, is healthy, it takes away a lot from the team, as not only defensively, then, then you got to get I think it hurts it, them more defensively than even offensively. Because, because then, because yeah. you, you still got to deal with, like, you got, yeah, let's say, you know, let's say that they play the, the Lakers. Sure, you got, and let's a say, few guys let's, say let's say Kawhi, right? let's say Kawhi cancels out LeBron and vice versa. Yeah. I still take Anthony Davis over any of the other Clippers by far, and I, and I I think they'd have. I mean, Zubac starts for them. Yeah. I think he'd have a heck of a problem with dealing with Davis. Harold Harold's a, a, a good tough guy, but he's a smaller guy. I think I think Davis Davis might be the X factor the whole playoffs. Like he's the, he's that kind of talent where if he stays healthy, he's a, he's a game dominant. He's a game changer. So, like it, it's it's tough because like I said, it's it's not like it's not one of those years where you know oh everyone's like oh the Warriors are gonna win. Everyone's healthy. Yeah, you yeah. don't have that. Yeah. I think there's a lot more parity, which is it's great because like, it's, yeah, it's, it's the NBA kind of sucked the last few years when yeah. you kind of knew that the Warriors were going to win it, minus what happened to Durant last year and so forth. Thankfully for the Raptors, I guess. Okay. Um, any last thoughts on the season? Uh, well, I think mean, uh, the awards thing is going to be interesting. I, I was going to ask you about uh, I think that, too. like, I think most people are probably going to think that Giannis takes the MVP. I mean, I'm, I'm on 35 year old Le- LeBron's uh, bandwagon. I'm sure, you know what? I'm going to cut one second. Okay, <laughs> I've never seen. <laughs> I need to get myself on camera. I've never seen a man lobbying so hard for a trophy than I'm seeing from LeBron James right now. It's borderline embarrassing. If I had Lamar oh, Graham by my oh, side, I'm going to send him this. If I saw anybody else, I would, like it's cringeworthy the amount of times he's had to like pump his own tires. Have you ever seen in professional sports anybody? Try and sell themselves to win a championship well, for well, their legacy. Well, what? It, well, the championship, yes, I think. Uh, you know, sorry, sorry, not championship. Sell themselves for the, for the MVP. Well, but what trophy. is it? What has he really been doing to pump his tires? Though? Like, like, in have you ever seen anybody take take time out of an interview to say that I think I've been the best player in the league? I think that I'm the MVP of the season. What I've done at this age, washed up king, all this stuff that he said all year, and now, like I said, people, you know, you take a break from it. Because there was the COVID, you come back and he's trying to refresh everybody's memory about how great he's been. We know that he's been great his whole career. Well, I think you know, uh, I think that comes with the territory with a lot of guys. Though I remember, I mean, we watched the, the Last Dance documentary with, with Mike, and when Mike was getting even when comparisons with Clyde Drexler, he took that serious because Mike always thought he was the best, the best player, right? But comparing he yourself to Clyde Drexler and asking for an MVP trophy in a press conference are two different things. Well, I mean, well, I guess so. I'm in the lobby. I don't know. Like at the end of the day, I mean, obviously he wants it, and and that's I mean, fine. That's, you let's can, be real. You can like, want the personal trophy, that's fine. accolades mean, mean a lot to guys. I mean, like they might not come out and say it, depending on your personality. Like would Kawhi say something like that? No, because that's not, not in Kawhi's personality. But would anybody say something like that? that is that, the that, point that, that they believe that they're, that they're the best in the league? Not that they believe they're the best. I don't want you dancing around this question. <laughs> I'm talking about saying I need to win this MVP. I need. Like, I'm, the, I'm, win it? I'm the I'm the most valuable player in, in this league. Uh, self con I mean, like I said, just I'm, say yes. Man. I'm we know those, that it's well, a yes. You know, I'm, 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 I'm always one of those guys that like I, I prefer the guy, I prefer the guys that have the personality and the self confidence. If I think I'm the best at something, I'll probably let people know about it. And that's just that's just me. Like other guys, I mean, I've seen Harden do it. I've seen the other guy. I mean, Giannis probably doesn't do it. Doesn't do it too much because I think yeah, that's just his personality. 
it's I, one I, thing I if you get robbed. robbed if you get robbed and like you know what I mean, like let's say for what you know, I just saw an EPL guy get robbed. I thought I thought uh, I thought Kevin De Bruyne was the best player in the EPL by far, and they gave it to Jordan Henderson, and I'm like. I guess the Liverpool won the, the league, and he was he was a good player. But I don't think Jordan Henderson was the best player. I thought Kevin De Bruyne was had a great year. Manchester City didn't win the championship, but if you ask me who's a, who's a better player between Kevin De Bruyne and Jordan Henderson, I'll give you De Bruyne every ten, yeah, 10 yeah, out of ten. Yeah, yeah. But it is what it is. But getting back to the <laughs> question, <laughs> like okay, like should Giannis win the award by what I've seen with the Milwaukee did this year? More than likely, sure. He's having a better year than he did last year. Sure. And I, do, I, do I think that LeBron's not likely, likely not going to win it? Probably not. Like, do I think that he's, he's doing great? nothing's wrong with that. At Nobody's 35? saying he's doing amazing. At 35, that's he's doing amazing. He's doing great. And that's, I don't want to take this away from it. Like, LeBron's having a great season. The only thing that bothers me, like I said, is him, like, trying to get a reporter's good years of saying, oh, hey, like, don't forget to vote for me. It's pretty much what he's doing. Well, and, like, that's... If you, you, a lot of people don't need any more re- reasons to not like LeBron. Well, here's that, the, but that's the thing. But they're going to use that as another reason not to like. Oh, well, LeBron can't be the best because he's not the MVP again. They're going to use that, obviously. So he wa- he obviously wants to get a, get in front of that, which I don't blame the guy for. It's going to get used. Like, oh yeah, Giannis, Giannis is going to get the MVP. You can't be the goat if you're losing MVPs every year. That's just reality. If you lose MVP, every, like I remember when uh, who was it? Charles Barkley beat Jordan for that MVP. Mm-hmm. Every, 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 a lot of people thought that was blasphemy. That Jordan was always the best player in the league. And, he, and then Charles beat him that, that, that year for the MVP. And that, that pissed Jordan off. I mean, you saw it in the documentary. And that pisses people off. And it's fine to be pissed off by not winning it. I think it's fine. He didn't win it last year either. Well, there was... People, they, you, like, the only last time, year, there was no chance. He missed him half the year with that injury, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. And he, the like, year before, he didn't win it. Well, there you go, right? Like like I said, I think the playoffs... I think, I think judging them off of what's I going think on, a finals MVP is more important than an MVP. Yeah. Right? Well, yes, I would agree with that, too. And, I mean, even though there's been guys that are, haven't been the best players, I mean, look at Iguodala 1-1. He, he probably deserved it that year. But, again, he, uh, he, was, he the, was he the best? Well, actually, no, hold on. Well, Iguodala won it that year, but LeBron actually had the really the best series. But they yeah, gave yeah, it yeah. To, no, and they I gave wouldn't it even agree there. I would agree. And that's the same thing as the Henderson Warrior. thing, right? The guy won the championship, yeah, right? which is, again, right? But that's, you lose and you can't really expect a championship in a finals. He was the best player in that series. I'll give that to him. But anyway, getting back to the MVP and the finals MVP, if LeBron ends his career, I don't even remember, what does he have, three or four MVPs? Yeah, Something like that. Every time they've won it, every time he's won a championship, they've won MVP, I believe. Okay, so well, like if, MVP. if LeBron finishes his career with four or, let's say, five MV, finals MVP, I think that's a lot more important to him sure. and his legacy than winning the league MVP. Sure. And he's not going to say, oh, hey, I'm the best player in the finals, because we're all going to see that. I just think that, from like I said, what I've seen with LeBron this year, I just didn't like how he's been like, okay, I'm going to leave the league and assist, pass the guy to whatever. Chris Paul has had his time of doing that, and he's more of a guy where the ball's in his hands. People like Lamar have argued that LeBron holds the ball for too long. They're a totally different team. We won't really get into that, because like I said, he's... I don't want but to take also, away from his greatness. But he he's also, a great player. Lamar also argues that Lamar, Le- 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 LeBron makes guys worse. Which is which again? We can. I mean, I think even players. even even, some even guys even guys like like I take like Skip Bayless absolutely hates LeBron. Yeah. Like even Skip has basically said that he that LeBron's the best pass for the ball that he's ever seen. He, he said that he on said multiple he's better, he said he's better multiple than times. He said that LeBron with his with the ball in his hands, he's the best passer that wow. he's ever seen. And that, that's a guy that absolutely detests LeBron. Yeah. Detests. Yeah. So like well, I he's said, definitely one of the best. I think him and Magic are probably one. Yeah, of the best. and that's the thing. I, I don't think LeBron makes guy like. Makes guys worse. Like there are some some guys' stats gonna go down, just like you mentioned with the Clippers situation, when you're of playing course. with yeah. LeBron and he has in he he gets his. Of course, yeah. like you, that's fine. Kevin Love that's and all fine. those guys, yeah. obviously. But like I said, it, it'll probably go to Giannis, and Giannis probably like, deserves it. I mean, Milwaukee I think had the best regular season record. I have no problem with Giannis getting it. I think LeBron will probably be the, the runner up. I don't I don't see who the number three would be. Because even going into this year, I had picked Anthony Donchich, Davis as a dark horse. Donchich, well, Donchich might, might he might pull it off next year. I thought Davis might be more important than because of what he does on both sides of the court. He can, he can, oh. Let's go to Defensive Player of the Year. Who's your pick? I as a Defensive Player of the Year? Rudy, Giannis, Anthony Davis. Kawhi didn't play well, enough. I, well, I'm not giving it to Rudy because Rudy screwed everything up. And he, and he acted like a moron. So I can't in my good conscience say that it's going to be able to go We didn't back. even mention Utah in the West. I guess that... Well, I mean, they're, they're in another situation where you just don't know how, like, those guys... A lot of guys... Well, I think, uh, like, well, I mean, there was all those reports that, that Mitchell was was really mad That's at not, Gobert. Yeah. And, and I think that he and, still is. And he still probably still is. And who knows, that, like, I mean, Gobert, I don't think he can still taste food, so who knows how the heck he's going to play. Um, I'd give it... I'd probably give it to Davis, if, I, if I'm being 100%. I think... 
you can't go wrong with 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 any of the three. Um, I think you know, I think Giannis is a great defensive player as well. His reach, his length. But I think Davis. You know, if I had to give uh, if I had to give him the award, I probably give it to Davis. But like I said, I, you can't go wrong. It's it's like choosing like your favorite like form of ice cream. I mean, you, you it's can't a win go win. wrong. You Dairy Queen. It's a win win. Yeah, you can't go wrong. Um, yeah, we did the most improved last time. Um, I don't. Do you remember? Yeah, 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 we did that last time. But like I said, it's uh, like again with the way it is. Like I, I don't even take any of these awards. To, uh, like I personally think this year they should wait until the finals are over. That's why I'd give the MVP because of the way that how it's structured. I, now these nine games aren't going to count for much. I would le- legitimately it's play the nine they games, missed, play the playoffs, one month. then give the MVP. They missed no more than a month. Now. Was it March? March 11th, they went down. Yeah, right? And April, the regular maybe. season ends. My dad's birthday is mid March, and my, my yeah. dad's birthday is usually the last game, 13th. So let's. I think they missed. So four but, and a half weeks, four weeks. Yeah. So, but in that in that span, I would think most that, guys are resting. I would think that. Like, I would say that. I would I, if I had to go MVP at that point. I think like Giannis had about a fifty five percent advantage over LeBron. It wasn't huge. Which changed though? Well, that's, that's the thing. In those four weeks, if they, let's say the the, the the Bucks go down go downhill, and the Lakers all of a sudden like like get the best record in the, in the West or in the, in the season, that might change. You a think lot that of if the Lakers finish with like because they were how many games behind them? Milwaukee, anyways, two or three for best record in the league. It's not like it was a landslide. Four weeks is a lot of games, though, right? You think that like? You I mean, that... it could have happened where, where the Bucks go 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 downhill a little bit, and the Lakers pass up. You never know, right? Yeah, I don't really, I don't really think that that would. Well, work. I mean, it is like it is unless a, those yeah, awards like, are unless... all like they don't, they're not going to give that like the ball and the in soccer this year. Really? They're not, and that to me probably should go to the Levin Dust if I had a vote. And you know, I'm a Ronaldo guy, but Ronaldo hasn't done, you know, he's got 30 goals in 30 games, or yeah. whatever. But it, to me, he, him and Messi would be second and third, yeah. and Lewandowski probably deserves it. But they're not going to do it, so it is yeah. what it is because of the the short the the way the seasons panned out. Yeah. But anyways, like I said, if Giannis wins it, back to back, deserve it. And again, he's him. I, what's going to be interesting with him is if the Bucks don't do well. In the and, and yeah, if they don't Someone's do well, not doing well. When I mean, you, you got. I think get for, to the, for the Bucks for the Bucks. To, no, no, I think they need for the Bucks to. I think maintain him because of all the interest that they're, they're going to have next summer. If they don't make the finals this year, even if they make the finals, and if they get ruined in the finals. Next year is going to be real interesting because I think he. I don't think you you see a guy a guy like that in in his prime, be a free agent like that. I mean, yeah, you had LeBron, but letting LeBron it was a very small market um, for him. And again, I don't know. And again, I think he was a little bit older too, because um, I think he's uh, Giannis is going to be a marquee. And again, you know, I I don't want to like, like if he ends up messing up and the Raptors beat him again. He's got a real good relationship with Masai. You think Masai. he pulls the Durant and jumps to the, the team that beat him? He's got a real good relationship with, with Masai. He obviously, he obviously, if the Raptors beat him again. Raptors fans, we the North. Are you listening to this? Nico Rodriguez with the prophecy. I mean, if you look at if you look at like the odds, the Raptors are going to have the cap space. They're going to be able to because again, Kyle. I don't know if they're going to they're going to have the cap yeah, space because if you look at it, they're Fred's gonna, a free agent. They got to. Fred's, Fred's like, a free agent. Sign anybody? But I mean, you look at I think Kyle. Kyle was going to be a free agent. Well, Serge is going to be gone. Like, I think a lot of these guys are going to come back at lower contracts. They will have some space, but like Pascal's going into a max. The Pascal's going into the max. Kyle's got, got next year now. He's got, Kyle and he's done. Making 30. And he's done. Yeah. Because I don't, I, I mean, oh, I, so. I personally think that Kyle's not going to be back after. Because again, you can't no, really be given. But do, do you not think that Fred's going to come back at like 20 per? Possibly, but I still that, that still have, means that they still got some money though for for, for franchise. But you're going to run into like a Miami Heat situation where it's like you have guys on minimums and rookies filling out the roster. I you think, think that? I would, think, I think but that you think honest. that I would I take it? But honest. you think that that would be like the case? I, I think the I think the way they set up the contracts, I think it's it's no coincidence that the way that they they've done the contracts, they're going to be making a big push for the for the big man. Which again, I'm I'm all for. I think I don't, again. He might have ties to, to the to the bug situation, but I think the Masai's Raptors work winning, with the Giants of Africa also. No, the, the Masai, yeah, the Masai. But the, the Bucks situation again. Are they going to throw all the money at him? One hundred percent. Of course. Yeah. It, are the bigger markets going to going to start throwing money at him too? So I mean, I've heard, I've heard, I've heard, I've even heard the Warriors. I've even heard the Warriors might might make a big push for him. And they they and then Draymond. You know, obviously, they have, to, they have to deal Draymond, but I mean, they'd have uh, they do a, Draymond, a, Steph, well, Wiggins. And Clay, but, but but Wiggins is another. Well, again, that would that would I would suggest they probably throw those guys, uh, Draymond and Wiggins, throw them away if they had an opportunity. But again, I'm always going to take those you contracts. Need takers, right? Well, I mean, 
I mean, I think I predicted too that that they wouldn't keep DeAndre Russell for more yeah, than a, a lot of bit, right? Like that, yeah. yeah, I yeah, told you, like yeah. that was not going to work out well. Yeah. But um, like I said, we'll see what happens with, with all with all that. But it's going to be an interesting time. I mean, next summer, this summer, because everything's all over the. I mean, there's not much. The free agent class next year, that's going to be interesting to watch. Uh, all right, so we're going to end the show with just. I know you gave your prediction. I want to know who you think they're going to play in the finals. You, you took the Clippers, you're still sticking with the Clippers? Yeah, with the Clippers. So Clippers, and, and who are they going against in the finals? My heart is it, is it these Raptors? My heart again. <laughs> again, it's one of those situations where I think I did, I did this last time, where I said, you know, I, I go I went with my head and not with my heart, and it ended up costing me, I, I believe, because I, I think I, 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 I said, yeah, I said Raptors in seven, and then the Bucks in, uh, or the Bucks in six. No, no, yeah, yeah, no, I actually said I said the, the Bucks in seven or the Raptors in six, and it ended up being Raptors in six. But I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna say the Raptors make the finals again. It's 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 probably not not going to happen. But they proved me wrong. They I have a little more faith. But again, we're gonna probably be doing this again when the playoffs start. And I tell you right now, they start throwing eggs. And again, they've got a reprieve. They won the championship. I'm happy. I could die a happy, man. Basketball wise, still waiting for the Leafs to knock. I'm gonna take the Raptors to make to make the finals. And again, they won't win against the Clippers, but I'll, I'll take them to make the finals because I think Nick Nurse might have Giannis figured out a little bit, and I have some faith that some of those guys will come up big in the playoffs. So I will. And again, there's no home court, so they don't even have to go to Milwaukee or any of that. Man to man series, I'm taking the. Even though the Bucks really did a number on the Raptors this year, so I'm taking the Raptors. The Raptors. Um, and and then top four teams in the East, like who do you think gets the semis? Raptors, Bucks, then who? It'll you be. Do? I think. I think it'll be end up being. I don't think the Sixers will make it. I think. Really? I think. I think it'll be. Um, I think Miami will, will end up making the semis. So I'm taking Raptors. Uh, sorry, well, I guess Bucks, Raptors, um, Miami, and the Celtics. Can't trust. Can't trust the Sixers. Okay. Beating his gas, props, God knows what I got to do. I don't know. I think that the Sixers have a decent shot. I, I, someone told me, I think it was one of my buddies yesterday or somebody at the gym that he had read an article that like 18% of finals bets have been placed on, on Philly since like the restart has happened, which I found pretty crazy and interesting. I picked, I think, Philly over the Clippers in the preseason, when we did our preseason show. Yes. Um, I believe but, so, yes. And, and I feel a lot better about the Clippers now that they're healthy and like Simmons is going to the power forward. You mean Sixers? Sixers, yeah. yeah. That being said, well, like I like I said, I mean that t- that does take away Horford the, the influence of Horford in there, and again, like you still mix experimenting yeah. stuff stuff like that in such a short time span does that usually work out for teams? But Horford at this point, he's more of like a stretch guy, anyways, right? So like even yeah. if you're playing him, they need that space because they don't have many shooters. Like I said, it, it'll really depend on health, uh, and I think yeah, they were screwed with, with Simmons' injury. I think they would have been in the back injury. Big, that's yeah, right. He was really. Been, he was it really would have been bad. in a real bad situation come the playoffs. But or maybe it, a good the situation. spacing with Embiid and Simmons, I to, again, I have to I have to see it. I mean, if it it could end up working out, um, I think it's it's kind of ridiculous in terms of a, of, a, of a coaching thing. I'm I'm spacing on on the coach's name right now, but uh, the Sixers coach, oh, like um, that he's uh, that he's trying this now after years on end. Um, but again, I guess he also feels that if they don't do well, he's lucky again to get fired anyway. So he might as well throw everything he can, I guess. But. Um, yeah, experimenting like that, and like in this situation, it might burn. But I mean, they have the talent. I, I well, I don't think they have the depth. I think I think you know you get Horford off the bench. Uh, I like um, was that Brown. They have. I like Brown. You see, yeah, they got they got some guys, but I don't I don't I, don't, I can't see it. Especially if they like depending on who they face matchup wise. Like I don't think they they beat the Bucks. Uh, the I don't they think got, they beat them on Christmas, and I, I think that. I'm kind of. I don't well, know. I was in Philly, Philly, though. That was in Philly. Yeah. yeah. And they're great in Philly, but on the road, you yeah. know, they're terrible. Yeah, I think they were like maybe even below 500. Yeah, All right. Getting you back to my prediction, it's tough because I still really like. I like Philly. I don't think that they're going to win it because I think that there's just too many things that have to kind of go right from them playing a different style now. I'll go with the Raptors to go to the finals. Boy. To go to the final. Okay. Um, in the West, like I said, I do think that there's a real. We have, when's the last time that we would have seen a team like a 6, 7, or 8 seed in basketball even get to a finals? I can't think of anything off the top of my head. There's been upsets, and I know There's we've seen it in other sports, or... football, basketball, yeah. baseball. Oh, sorry, not basketball. I'm going to go with the Raptors winning the championship. Oh, wow. Winning the championship over the Lakers. 
Oh wow! That's that's gonna be my final final. That, 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 that'll, that'll be a uh, that'll be Lamar Grant's wet dream on that one. <laughs> what? what? You think? Well, yeah. I mean, if the Raptors if the Raptors were to beat uh, LeBron? LeBron in the finals, I mean, you have that on you forever would, too, right? Well, I mean, like I said, it's not like again. I think Lamar. I mean, we have these discussions with him, and he's more on the train that we both jumped off the Raptors train because I think we both said that the Raptors, based on how they were doing in the playoffs, they should have rebuilt. And technically, they did rebuild. They got they rid retooled. of. They retooled. They re, well, I mean, they got rid of a they good number of, of guys on the roster. Right. If you look at, at the, the when they when they got rid of JV, when they got rid of CJ Miles, when they got rid of Demar, when they got rid of Paul, of Yaka Pottle, like they ended up like making making shift about half the roster. So yeah, yeah they got rid of Demar, and they they retooled the tag. I guess it wasn't a full rebuild, but yeah, they got they got Kawhi Leonard, which was the guy that really put them over the hump in the playoffs, which. Yeah. We knew that Kyle and Demar weren't going to do. I mean, we're just being realistic here. They weren't going to do it. All right. So once again, Raptors over Lakers. My finals prediction. And I want to say I think it's because of the depth. I think they have so many guys. They have the size to go against the Lakers, which not a lot of teams do. With yes. Ibaka, Slim Duck for whatever minutes he's going to play. Marcus Sewell obviously is. Oh, Marcus Sewell might be like their X factor Could in the be. playoffs, right? Could he be. was if last year. If he's healthy and he can move around and his offense gets going, that gives them an. an well, we know he's going to move around because he's dropped. It looks like he's dropped like twenty pounds. Like I said, it, he like, grew some hair out. He's I, looking like young and. Uh, I again, I, the way he again, he's a good guy. Like I was on him a bit this year because it's just his offensive performances weren't great. He's been great. very passive. He's been very passive. Yeah. He, he'd have he throw down some zeros a couple I think a couple of games or two point games, but again, if he can get back to even like twelve to fifteen points a game, that's a huge bonus. And gets, his defensive stats. Yeah, if he gets even to, if he gets to ten or twelve, I think that would be really good. And, he, then, yeah. and then they're really in a good spot. Yeah. Because yeah. then they got they got they're getting like oh, like and surge and and like and so forth. Like they got the point oh, points with surge last year that I, I would cringe every time he threw up a three point. Yeah, it was getting ugly. I remember yeah, that. It was getting yeah, rough. Was getting so, really but I think they're like they're likable guys. I think that this might be the last year also for the Raptors of having this much depth and guys that are going to oh, play sure. because just due to the age of guys like Gasol, maybe Ibaka. We're not sure if he'll come back. Probably will on a lesser contract. And just the cap situation going forward because there's a lot of questions. And this is even before next summer. But I think that this summer might be the last time where, you know, it's been a real joy to watch. To be honest, they remind me a little bit of old Spurs basketball when we were growing up. Uh, Moving the ball, hitting the open hand, playing defense. I'll take I'll take the Giannis uh, Siakam one too any yeah, other week. Yeah. <laughs> I sure. mean, like, yeah, knock on, knock on wood. And Fred. I think that Fred is that could be that could be a heck of a I honestly future. think that Fred is one of the more underrated guys in the league and, and even on the Raptors team. Just wow. the shooting and the like defense said, they're, we they're, saw last year in the finals. Yeah, a lot of those guys are, are approaching the shelf life and I mean even like even Kyle really like negotiating for that extra year where he's like, I don't wanna play on the on the one year and like yeah, whatever. Yeah, I guess he earned it. I, I wasn't thrilled. It's not our money. I wasn't it's thrilled. not our money and he's well, been playing I, well. I wasn't thrilled with, with the extra year, but I can see why they did it and, and again you also put it this way, and again, Masai is no dummy. His contract, and they, like, again, don't know how the team is going to be. Piece, right? so, uh, during that year, when guys are trying to get, uh, trying to get because there's going to be great free agents, yeah. his expiring contract is going to look nice. The Raptors can get some significant pieces if they want for Kyle, yeah. because his expiring contract for teams that want to clear the decks and, and want to go after the big guns in the free agency. Maybe get a pick there's a there. reason. There's a reason they like Masai is no, no dummy. Because again, right now, like let's say, let's say the Raptors are terrible this year. With the free agent class that, that was going on, like Kyle and, and, and Ibaka's contracts weren't that lucrative because there's they're like I, I think Draymond was going to end up being the best free agent at that at some point. Like, yeah, it was terrible. It was a terrible free agent class. And then next year, that, that, that ends up being much, much better. So, I mean, Kawhi, I mean, so Masai is no dummy. So, I mean, we'll see how it plays out. Like, I, I mean, they, 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 those guys, in, I think Kyle's going to be nearly, nearly 35. Yeah. He's not going to be able to. You're not going to give that guy 30 million for a 35 year old. Yeah. I mean, unless you're LeBron, I guess. But. <laughs> All right, uh, that's going to wrap it up then for this episode. We're going to get back together once, um, maybe midway through the uh, the retooling of the season, and then definitely like a playoffs matchup whenever that's kind whenever of scheduled. That's set. And uh, we'll see. Maybe we can bring along an old friend for another episode. We Special correspondent. We'll see if we can get that back. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time on the block. Special correspondent Lamar Grant.